Here's how to make amazing looking 3D printed terrain using colored filament. Orchitect just released a new Kickstarter called Decimation Zone, and was kind enough to ask if I wanted to give it a go. It's a series of platforms over a hazardous zone in a world on the brink of destruction. Very metal. Make sure to check out the Kickstarter using the link in the description. I wanted to try something a little different for this one and print the set out in some colored filament to see if the unpainted version would be suitable for your average gaming tabletop play and look good. Believe it or not, there are some people who don't like the painting aspect of the hobby, so I'm interested for their sake to see if something interesting could be made without lifting a brush. Of course, I enjoy painting, so as much as I like the results, I'm going to paint and weather it a little bit. I reached out to Overture 3D and they sent me a couple of spools to try out. Space Gray and Gray Blue. The idea is to have metallic columns with gray blue flooring and platforms. A little tip for FDM printing, make sure to clean your bed very well with isopropyl alcohol. I recently switched over from 70% to 99% and it's made a huge decrease in warping and failures. I still printed with the brim though to make sure all the platforms were as flat as possible. It took about a week to get all of this printed from my machine, which isn't bad for this amount of modular terrain. Everything can be magnetized using 6mm by 2mm magnets. But I just printed out the pegs that are included and glued everything together after painting. If you use bases on your minis that are magnetized, then I recommend going the peg and glue route to avoid having the magnets mess with each other through the platform. I'm very impressed with the look the colored filament gives. This would definitely look great on the tabletop as is without any painting and still impress others. But as I paint small things, I wanted to try to weather it. It's recommended to prime FDM prints before painting to keep what you brush on from rubbing off, but priming these in black or some other color would defeat the purpose of printing it in a colored filament. So. I primed it with a thin coat of matte varnish to allow the filament color to show through. Then I took some brown craft paint and used a sponge to make some areas heavily damaged on the blue platforms. And dry brushed metallic paint over anything that was gray. or anything on the blue platforms that seemed like it needed to be metal. Then I took a light blue and sponged on some light chipping on the blue platforms. Also, I added a few white panels to the platforms to break up the blue a bit. Finally, I used some dirty down rust to add even more weathering and add a third color to the mix. The orange rust really went well with the blue. The whole paint job took about an hour to do. Not too bad for a full set of terrain, and again, I thought it looked pretty great without the weathering too. The main set comes with ground panels and this cool hazard floor. I didn't have enough time to print it out in time for the Kickstarter, but my main grand plan for the future is to print out the floor and leave the middle open for whatever hazardous biome I'm feeling, whether it be lava, ice, sandy desert, or thick jungle flooring like this. 
I really like how versatile this set is. You'll always have a need for some raised platforms. The jungle zone was made with fake aquarium plants and fake plants I found at Michael's. Thanks again to Orchitect for sending me the files and Overture for the filament. I really appreciate it. I've been impressed with their products and service. Definitely check out the Decimation Zone Kickstarter by using the link below. If you enjoyed, feel free to like and subscribe. Comment down below with any feedback or suggestions. Also, make sure to look through my affiliate links down below to get some hobby supplies, save money, and help support the channel. Alright, bye bye